Hi YouTube fam, welcome to the first Financial Friday of 2021. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. I know I did. Um, I definitely took a big step away from YouTube and filming just to just kind of work on like my mental health and make sure that I'm in the best space to provide good content for you guys. Um, and just to be my genuine self and not trying to like fight through any kind of issues or anything like that. I'm not going to get into that in this video because today we're going to talk about how to prepare for Christmas 2021. And Jay's going to come join us. I'll wait till he sits down and get started. You want to say hi to everybody? Yes, hi everybody. Okay guys, so we're going to jump right into this. The first thing that I'm going to do to prepare for Christmas 2021 is I am going to sit down with my husband and you can sit down with your partner or if it's just you yourself and I'm going to decide on a realistic budget. Now we all know how many curveballs 2020 threw us. So going into 2021, I wanna look at my expected income and make a budget that I think would be reasonable and attainable so that I'm already prepared financially for when Christmas comes around um, at the end of this year. So the second thing I'm going to do and that the second thing I think that you guys should do is decide when you wanna start shopping. If you know you're the kind of person that likes to shop, let's say starting in October, then you might want to make yourself a budget um, that you can, a budget goal that you can reach by October. Or if you like to shop by Black Friday or Cyber Monday or any of those things like that, you don't want to set your budget up in a way so that you don't reach your goal until after you actually want to start shopping. Unless, of course, you don't mind kind of picking off of the money. But for me, I like to have reached the goal by the time that I want to actually spend the money. So step number three, you're going to actually make your savings plan. So you are going to sit down, you're going to say, okay, I earn $100 a month and I know that I want to save $10 a month for Christmas. And let's just say I want to have $400 by October 1st. So you want to sit down, you want to look at your income, you want to look at when you want to start shopping and use those two things to make yourself a savings plan. Now for me, I'm a big, big, big fan of automatic withdrawals from my paycheck. I like to have money going to my checking and then a couple savings account because that money is just automatically being saved. You don't have to think about it. And then when it comes down to payday, the money that I have in my checking account is my money. I know that that's my money to spend after I've saved and done everything um, that I need to do with the rest of my finances. Another piece of advice, don't be afraid to pick up a side hustle. Don't be afraid to get on Etsy and open a shop and create something. Um, start driving for Uber Eats. I mean, there are so, so, so many avenues um, for side hustles these days, especially in 2021. So weird saying that. So definitely don't be afraid to get yourself a side hustle. If your initial or your main income is not gonna be enough for you to reach your savings goal for Christmas, don't be afraid to pick up that side hustle, um, even if you're just doing it to add that little bit of extra so that you're covered for the holiday time. The next hack is to discuss spending with your family in advance. That means sitting down with family members and talking about how much you intend to spend on each other. That, the lights are on it. If you're gonna have a $25 budget, a $50 per person budget, whatever it is, let your family know that you're working on your budget, you are planning out your finances, and you wanna know in advance how much you guys are intending to spend on each other, or if you even intend to uh, exchange gifts at all. Which brings me to my next point, make a plan. If you have a very large family, or if you have five or six or seven nieces and nephews, or if you have a bunch of cousins or auntie, Make yourself a plan for them. Um, if you know you want to get everybody, let's just say candles, maybe you want to wait for a day when Bath and Body Works does their $10 um, off or $10 three wick candle deal. And then you can get everyone a $10 candle. So you want to kind of make a list of everyone that you need to shop for as soon as possible. So that way you can incorporate that in your budget and make sure that your budget matches the amount of people that you need to shop for. And finally, consider purchasing experiences on discount sites such as Groupon as a way to be thrifty while you're Christmas shopping. If you have, let's just say, three or four nieces or nephews, consider getting them a Groupon for bowling or ice skating. Experiences are a great way to make memories without necessarily putting out a whole ton of money. 
and without giving uh, families that typical toy, you know, that's gonna be broken in a year or a toy that the kid gets bored with. Gifting experiences is another way to be thrifty, but also still be able to gift to people that you wanna gift to. So that's gonna pretty much do it for our first Financial Friday of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yes, Jay? Yeah, I have the buttons to turn the camera No buttons, don't push anything. I hope you guys will consider joining me for the rest of our Financial Fridays. I'm hoping to definitely keep them a little bit more consistent now that holiday time is over, um, as well as the other content on my channel. If you like this video, please leave me a comment below letting me know how you prepare for Christmas and just give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.